We have Jamie Staten already down there in Boston soaking up all the excitement. He joins us from Boylston Street right near the finish line. And Jamie, we're getting very pumped because one of our own will be crossing that finish line soon. Yes, Kevin Skarupa. Can't wait to see Kevin run on Monday. We've all been following his journey for the last several months, right? Kevin hasn't actually run a marathon in quite a few years. It's been, what, I think seven years since he ran the Manchester City Marathon. Well, he's a marathoner once again. And through the magic of television, let's bring him in live right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking live at bib number 31636. Is that right, Kevin? Six, that that three, is one, correct, three, yes. <laughs> Awesome. So what do you what is your initial response when you see this beautiful finish line right here laid out in front of us? I mean, as, as crazy it is with my wife having run four of these before, I've actually never been to the finish line on a Boston Marathon Monday, just kind of a, trying to avoid the crowd no seeing kidding. her maybe at mile 25. So it is kind of surreal and it is going to look totally different from being on the other side of the stanchions when I get there sometime very late in the afternoon on Monday. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, you will be coming here tomorrow. You're going to pick up your bib, go to the expo, and you can come down here and get your picture taken with the finish line. You know Stanley Cup NHL hockey players will not get their photo taken with the cup until they win it, superstition. Will you cross this line tomorrow, or are you superstitious as well? I will not go anywhere near that line at all <laughs> tomorrow. I did get a picture when we went down and did some commercials out ahead about a month ago with my shoes on the starting line. I figured that was safe, and that wasn't going to cause any issues. But I, I will tell you, yes, the superstition is real, and I will not probably get within 50 feet of that actual finish line. I love it. Save that for Monday. It'll be all the more special. I want to congratulate you on, on finishing all your training, but also bringing Waypoint into this and bringing a lot of uh, great publicity to an amazing organization. What have you learned about Waypoint um, through all your fundraising and your partnership with them for this Boston Marathon? I, I mean, I knew the work that they did here in the state of New Hampshire, but then when you sit down and you actually talk to them, you realize that they're not an enormous billboard somewhere. They're not putting their name out there in all that much. And they are there supporting 20 plus organizations across the state that you almost wouldn't even think that they're a part of. Uh, I went to a school in Concord that they are part of, the Children's Place, just a couple of weeks ago. And the, the person running the Children's Place said, we probably would still not be here without Waypoint. Uh, it is an incredible organization and it spans all the demographics across the state, from infants all the way up to seniors. It is a, a wonderful organization and I am proud to say that I will be a part of that and they will be in my mind literally every mile that I am doing that race on Monday. Absolutely amazing, Kevin. Just as an example, $100 feeds 10 hungry children in New Hampshire for a month. When you, when you factor that Kevin has raised tens of thousands of dollars, it's such a huge, um, really, impact that you're making, Kevin. Let's take a look at your bib number because people can follow you on the Boston Racing app. It's free on your phone or wherever you get apps. You just type in Kevin's number and you can follow him every step of the way, which should be Jen and Steve, about 60,000 steps that I believe Mr. Scarupa will be taking on Monday. It will be a lot of steps, yes. And yeah, every step in it, there will be times where, yeah, I'll stop and probably get a little bit of a drink of water or some Gatorade. The, the ultimate goal of this, and you'll hear more about it tomorrow, uh, is to truly just finish the race. It's a one-time thing. I would never qualify for something like this. So I am really looking forward to it, regardless of the weather at all, as long as it's not 85 degrees. I can't wait for this race. It's going to be a lot of fun. No music, no anything, just ready to just enjoy and soak up the entire atmosphere of it all. 